The very first time I came across Epicetus novel, I was in secondary school. I was in Jess one. I think this should be about um, 2005, um, going to 2006, around that time. And um, whew, I've been hooked since then. It formed one of the best memories for me and um, the book I saw in particular was um, The Runaway Bride by Barbara Kimenye so this is the book that I saw that um, got me on the lookout for uh, the books in the Peseta series yes um, so guys with this video take this as an introduction to the Peseta series <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Uche and if this is your first time on this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please click on the subscribe button below so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So here on this channel, um, I do book reviews um, of books written by um, African authors. So um, if you're looking to delve more into the African market or, in, or into African literature, this is just the right channel for you. And to my other subscribers, um, thank you so much for sticking with this channel. I hope I've been inspiring you to pick up a book to read. I did a little digging on um, the Pesetas collection or the Pesetas series on Google and I got, um, you know, bits of information that I'm going to share with you here. So everything I'm going to say on this channel regarding um, the history of the Peseta series, I got it from Wikipedia. So first things first, the Peseta series is a collection of 130 works of fiction um, from um, notable African authors and it is published by Macmillan. So if you've heard of Macmillan, growing up I heard a whole lot about Macmillan, read books published by Macmillan in um, primary school, secondary school. So Macmillan is a household name. So um, this series, this particular Peseta series was started in 1977 with the first book being Director by Abu Ariu. So according to something I read someplace else, um, Abu Ari used to work with Macmillan then, so he was the one that uh, was able to um, persuade his um, white bosses that oh that there was um, a brewing market here in Nigeria or in Africa, so um, you know there were young people that needed to read. So they said, okay, since this was his idea, you should write the first book, and that was how he came up with um, director. And um, you see, in this um, collection, majority of the um, of the authors they are of Nigerian descent so they are majorly Nigerian authors because of the success of this Pesitas collection here in Nigeria um, they were able to um, you know spread more into Africa and uh, they gave it to other authors contributing to this Pesitas collection so for the writing style it is majorly characterized by adventure falling in love um, rags to riches and sometimes back to rags and um, love conflict tales of war so it's a whole lot like anybody that has read um anything or any book from the pesetas collections you know it's always a joy ride like it is fun to read and i'll just say i'm forever a fan i'm forever a fan of this pesetas series and um the book cover at work i feel is one of the major in fact it's the major selling point of these Peseta books because you know it um, features very garish artwork um, that's for the book cover that um, usually um, is fixated on the major theme of a particular Peseta's book for instance look at this book um, anything for money the name is giving you an idea already and you're seeing the book cover you're seeing this girl so I'll think maybe the story should be surrounded around um, the life of this girl and you know with the way she's dressed you see that ah at this one maybe she can do anything for money so you know the book cover just usually just gives you an idea of what to expect while um you're going into the book or before you start reading the book so uh some of the popular um writers um in this space setters um collection we have buchi mecheta buchi mecheta wrote um naira power i think it's naira power that i have and there's helen of Vergile. there's barbara kimenye and guys see eh, this video is just an introduction though. 
in the next video i'm going to be showing off my collection of the visitor series so i don't have the I don't have the complete 130 books but uh, late last year i think around that november i was able to um contact a vendor in um Ibadan and i had um 22 of some of the books in the pesetas collection i had it rebuilt to me and um my collection is great me i'm a collector so that is how i'll keep scouting till hopefully i'm able to get 130 of them but the thing is that i don't know if it will be entirely possible for me to get all the 130 books because some of these books they are out of print you know some of these others they are dead it's something that started in 1977 that was way before i was born me i was born in the 90s <laughs> i was born in the 90s so uh, this book is as old as it's very this collection is very very old so um i i even went as far as um contacting um macmillan and they didn't even have everything complete they did, i think they had about just three books three out of 130 that was what they told me in the mail that they sent to me but in the next video i'll be delving more into that so guys stay tuned thank you for watching um <laughs> Do not forget to like this video, um, share this video, um, click on the subscribe button and um, I'll be seeing you in my very next video where I'll be uh, unhauling my collection, my uh, Pesetas collection, the ones that I have. So, uh, bye guys!